Thanks to everyone present. Me and my teammates are here to present Vioma. Any questions regarding our presentation will be gladly answered after the presentation. I, Apurva, would utilize this opportunity to introduce Vioma. As all other scientific discoveries, the concept of Vioma was born due to inherent inquisitiveness. The name Vioma was chosen amongst various Sanskrit names due to its meaning being sky or heaven. As the name suggests, Vioma's mission is to create a habitat as comfortable and luxurious as heaven for the mankind. An asteroid can be simply defined as a small rocky body orbiting the sun. Exploitation of minerals from such bodies is termed as asteroid mining. Why asteroid mining? The simple answer for this question is that asteroid mining is a profitable industry and an effective way of obtaining resources and thus it is an excellent substitute for earth exploitation. Now my teammate Aishwarya will explain the structural outlook of Vioma. Vioma is located in the Lagrange point 5 of the Earth Sun system. This location was chosen due to its stability and greater gravitational pull. There will be about 15000 citizens residing in Vioma during the first few years. The structure of Vioma looks like an arrow. Structure: solar panels, vertical line, satellite communicators, industries, main station, storage tori, sepulcher, fortification monitors, horizontal line residential and recreational tori agricultural torus main controlling and monitoring hub portals materials used in vioma have good heat resistance high strength and low weight the skeletal system of vioma consists of 10 layers layer 1 thermal protection system layer 2 composites of aluminum and titanium layer 3 xylon and nitinol layer 4 support layer 1 layer 5 super adobe layer 6 m5 fiber and seal and gel layer 7 support layer 2 layer 8 support layer 3 layer 9 multi layer insulation layer 10 aluminum and silver here is the glimpse inside vioma Now my teammate Riti will explain the topic Vioma in action. Main controlling and monitoring system is situated right after the docking port known as pier also known as the main hub. The main hub will be highly secured. The hub is divided into four divisions to ensure the smooth monitoring of Vioma. The first division is used to monitor the residential area. The second division is used to monitor the recreation, entertainment and sepulcher area. The third division is used to monitor the agricultural torus. The fourth division is used to monitor the industrial tori and storage tori. Defense system mainly works to ensure every citizen's safety. The safety of citizens inside Vioma will be ensured by face recognizers at the entry of the tori and finger vein recognizers at the entry of the homes. The fortification of Vioma is monitored with the help of satellites. The portals of Vioma will only open for the vehicles only if they have Vioma symbol. The outer layer of Vioma will be strong enough to ensure less impact from the celestial bodies. All vehicles will be battery operated. Cars and buses will be used for inner tourist transportation. Space lifters will be used for inter tourist transportation. Since these vehicles are battery operated, they reduce air pollution. Satellite based communication will be used for both internal and external communication. Gadgets used inside Vioma will be designed inside Vioma. The satellites used for external communication will also be used for space exploration and asteroid detection. Now Ashwarya will briefly explain about human factors. Oxygen is the most important factor followed by water and food. For the first few years, electrolysis process will be used to produce oxygen. Gradually as the growth of trees increases, the oxygen will be supplied naturally. 
Water plays an important role in everyone's life. Lack of water could lead to dehydration which leads to several health issues. Thus in Vyoma we aim to produce water at necessary quantities. Water is produced by separating water from plant remains, recycling sweat and using sabatier reaction. In Vyoma vegan food is supplied with the help of agriculture and non-vegetarian food is supplied with the help of cellular agriculture. Water, light CO2 and soil are the necessities for food production. These necessities will be artificially produced. Temperature plays a vital role and will be controlled using temperature controllers, humidifiers and air pressure controllers. With the help of illumination, day and night, weeks, months, etc. can be differentiated. The reflector system, artificial sources of illumination and day and night systems are used in Vyoma to help illumination. In Vyoma, linear acceleration and rotation methods are used to provide gravity. The rotation method is used in the toroid and the spheres. The linear acceleration method is used in the cylinders. Now, Riti will explain human life design. Every citizen of Vyoma plays a vital role in successful development of Vyoma. Population will be divided for the occupational requirements such as clothing industry, mining industry, electrical industry, agriculture industry, maintaining the storage tora, maintaining the sepulchre toras, Vyoma's main station, education, health, political system and law, Vyoma's main controlling and monitoring system, main controlling hub, security and other. In Vyoma, pe people will be provided with luxury residence with all the basic facilities required for human survival like air, water, electricity, gravity, pillow, bed, toilets and bathroom. Education system in Vyoma is a future ready framework, a robust structure for digital, progressive and focused on personalized student learning. Health is wealth. Super speciality hospitals and clinics are built in each torus of Vyama which ensures citizens of Vyama are in good health. Relaxation and entertainment plays a huge role in people's daily life and hence Vyama caters to this by providing citizens with malls, casinos, parks, libraries, theatres, discos and other shops. Currency plays a major role in every citizen's life. One transactional unit in Vyoma is equal to one US dollar. Every employee will be paid in US dollars. Now, Apurva will explain about asteroid mining. Now, Apurva will explain about asteroid mining. Selection of the asteroid is a very challenging task. The location, composition and dimensions of the asteroid are taken into consideration. Finally, 2005 IU-55 was selected after all the quality checks. 2005 IU-55 is composed of nickel, iron, water, hydrogen, ammonia and cobalt. These composites are very useful and can be utilized ideally. 2005 IU-55 will be captured using a basic asteroid capturing net and will be brought close to Vyoma at a reasonable distance. The machine used to mine the asteroid will land on the asteroid and start mining. The structure of the machine mining the asteroid resembles a spider. It uses hydrogen fuel cells or lithium ion batteries instead of fuel such as liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen as it can be very difficult to find fuel in space. The drilling rod is enclosed by a vacuum suction tube. This idea was inspired by dust collectors. As the drilling rod mines, the suction tube will collect all the minerals and store it in the storage tank. The machine stops mining after 1 kg of minerals collected in the storage tank. Now, Aishwarya will explain Vyoma's industries and future development. All industries in Vyoma play a major role in its development. There are four major industries in Vyoma. Mining industry will be divided into four divisions. It will mainly concentrate on researching, developing and testing the mining robot. All materials required for the robot and for Vyoma will be manufactured here. Electrical industry is capable of producing 30,000 kilowatts per day. Electricity will be carefully used and will not be wasted. Molten salt reactors and liquid fluorium thorium reactors are some of the techniques used to produce electricity. Textile industry plays a major role as clothing reflects one's individual culture, personality and preferences. Textile industry in Vyoma will produce clothing from popular cultures. Cotton, wool, silk and synthetic fabrics will be used in Vyoma's textile industry. 
Hydrophonics, aerophonics and aquaphonics are the processes used in agricultural industry to produce food. Now, Apurva will briefly explain on Vyoma's operating cost. The overall cost of Vyoma will be $35 billion approximately. This was calculated considering the costs of aspects such as material cost, cost of the solar panels, cost of water calculated annually, cost of crop production annually, cost of waste management, cost of the defense system, cost of communication, cost of transportation, cost of radiation protection, asteroid mining budget and cost of the interiors. After capturing and mining 2005 IO55, the profit gain will be $6.23 billion. We would like to thank Sri Chaitanya Techno School, NASA and NSS for providing us with the opportunity to complete and present Pioma. We would also like to thank our parents and mentors for supporting us throughout the project. We would also like to thank everyone present here for sparing your valuable time and patience to listen to us. Thank you and have a wonderful day ahead.